Hello everyone, this is Ina with Inichka Chef and welcome to my kitchen. Today in episode we are making Eliopeta. It's a savory olive cake. A couple weeks ago I promised you to share with you this recipe and today we are making. Before we started, I want to explain what we're going to do on the end of this video. A couple weeks ago my boys created for me a little jar, actually large jar, <laughs> with the tickets. It's from my wish list of recipes that I would like to share with you this year. So we'll take one, t I will choose one ticket and we'll see together what we're going to, what I'm going to make next time. <laughs> and for the ingredients we need as the main ingredients, black olives, of course. And um, in previous video, I explained about this olives, it's dry curd in, in salt, dry brine, just salt. Uh, and you can find this olives in any supermarket. Plain flour, all purpose orange, We'll use orange juice and orange zest, bacon soda, dry mint, love how I smell mint, parsley or cilantro, whichever you prefer, onions, green onions, and olive oil. That's it, pretty simple. So first we need to prepare everything for the wet ingredients. And first of all, it needs onion. To the pan, add a little bit of olive oil, like one tablespoon or so, not a lot. And our onion. And saute until it's nice and translucent. And for the next ingredients, olives. And just like in previous video where I make black olive topinada, I, um, I pit my olives with little shot glass. Olives peated finally, took about five minutes, <laughs> but well worth it. This olive so much more flavor. And we're going to use actually stone peats um, to, to create some kind of brine and it will be part of the wet ingredients. So, and now for the peats, you just need to add a little bit water just to cover them, like about, a, about one quarter of water and let soaked so we can use this water. And meanwhile, chopped parsley, we need about one, uh, like half a cup of a little bit more of parsley, chopped parsley. And scallions or green onion. Same amount, about half a cup. It doesn't have to be exact. This recipe is such a rustic and I'm sure every, um, family has own recipe. And finally, nice and cool onions. Orange zest. Some people like to make this recipe with um, lemons, but I actually prefer orange. And also we need orange juice. And the last one. You should end up about three quarter of cup of orange juice. And it's the last ingredients for the wet ingredient. And juice of soaked peats. About one quarter. For the dry ingredients, all we need flour, baking soda, and another dry ingredient, it's mint. Whisk together. So now it's both uh, dry and wet is ready, except one cup of olive oil, and we are ready to bake. Come on. Looks so good. 
try to not over mix. As long as it's combined together, that's good enough. Nice and level. Now it's ready for the oven. It's 325 degrees for about 45-50 minutes. And look how beautiful, smell gorgeous. So good, can wait to try. <laughs> And now what I like to do to flip and let cool about five, ten minutes, even it's very tempting to try right away, but I recommend to try to wait a few minutes. And at this point, I like to freeze sometimes half uh, for, the, for the later, or you can eat right away. It's so delicious. Let's try. Mm. So cakey, so soft and Delicate, very elegant flavor. Oh yes, it would be nice side for your soup or shish kebab, salad, or really just have this cup of coffee or tea. I hope you enjoy this recipe soon, and I hope you will make soon this recipe. And please give me like and subscribe. And remember, for full recipe, it's always a link below. And on end of this video, as I promised, we're going to choose one ticket. I'm going to choose one ticket, what I'm going to make next time. Shrimp cake, quick and easy shrimp cake. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.